So let me tell you about the time that I was um, accused of murder. <laughs> I couldn't make that up. That's just my life. So I was with this kid when I was like 17, 18. It was a very toxic relationship. God bless him or don't. And he was like creeping behind my back left and right. I gave him multiple opportunities to tell me. I was like, yo, does she like you? Do you like her? Do y'all got a thing going? Because she was all over him. I found this tagged photo of them two together and her friends gassing her up talking about, you guys should date. You're so cute. And I hopped on that jaw like, duh, you thought. So from there, I think, is when she decided she was gonna premeditate this entire plan. Yeah, I'm at my best friend's house one day, and I get a phone call. What did you do? What What did I do? I just got a phone call from Esperanza. She's in the hospital, whatever the f her name was. She was beaten, battered, and bloody outside of her job. No one found her for two hours. She was laying in a pool of blood, and they're saying it was you. Are you on crack? What the f***? And so he curses me out, hangs up the phone. Little by little, I'm getting pieces of information. So her cousin... Keeps texting him saying, oh my god, we don't know if she's gonna make it. She can't even talk. And she tells him she got jumped. A group of girls who came out with bats pulled up on her outside her job and beat her bloodied in a pool of her blood on the ground. I said, what the f am I the godfather? Bro, I'm 17. Why would I? He is calling me, cursing me out, saying, if I find out you had anything to do with that. Have I ever pulled any type of shit like this in my life? Is that honestly what you believe I'm about? You never know. You were jealous. So I tell him, tell her to send you a picture in the hospital. Let's find out what hospital she's in. We will go visit the girl and we will ask her ourselves. What happened? What do you remember? Put him on three-way. I call Temple Hospital. I'm like, hey, is there an Esperanza Medrano at your hospital right now, beaten half to death? There was no Esperanza. Surprise, surprise. Let's see the damage. Take a picture, send it. He forwards me the picture she sends him. It's a Google image hospital bed that's empty. Oh, she's in the bathroom. She finally woke up. Oh, so she just happens to not be in the hospital bed just as she needed a picture. How convenient is that? Wow, how convenient is that? I'm like, do you realize that bitches are crazy enough to lie about this type of shit. I didn't even know. Don't you think it's a little fucking weird? The hospital she claimed she's at had no record of her. Her cousin has to speak for her. She woke up and she still can't talk. Doesn't it sound like some bullshit you would pull out of your So as she's running out of excuses why she can't talk or why they can't go see her, 20 minutes later, I get a call. She's dead. Like she was fine 10 minutes ago. What do you mean she's dead? So in my head, I'm like, who would honestly play about death? So I hop on Facebook. This motherfucker already changes his header to R.I.P. Esperanza. I'm mad he even went on Facebook to go change his name to R.I.P. And if I find out, if you find out what, what? She couldn't even send you a hospital picture. Just love hospital bracelets. She couldn't even do that. So I try to have a little remorse. You know, if this is true, I'm gonna pray for her family. Me too. Ten minutes later, I get a text saying the doctor saved her. It's a miracle. Somebody come look at this. So I'm like, should I be concerned? Is she gonna press charges? Honestly, I don't even remember how that night ended. And the next day or two, her real cousin explained in Messengers how she paid her to play along with the story. She wanted him to break up with me so bad. Dumb, dumb, stupid years of mine. And yeah, looking for her, never saw her. So I hired four bitches to pull up to her job and beat the shit out of her. And then she died. And that's how I got away with murder. <laughs> Yeah. Three years, 50 and 126 gray hairs later, I finally decided I was done. And I moved on with my life. Huh.